All right, so we go over to the Pacific Highway now. I, I don't even know if I've done a race here yet, like at all. This, I think this might be a brand new sort of track. It looks interesting to say at least, and it's foggy. Wow, <laughs> way to make your first pres presence game. Uh, first time doing this track, and it's a, uh, and uh, it's it's a uh, it's a bit it's a bit hard to see. It's not the worst fog. It's just a it's it's seems more minor compared to uh, others, but still. Excuse you. It's a bit N64 in here. <laughs> I'm doing it from the start because honestly, I got to a certain point, stopped, and then I've taken so long to, towards doing it that I thought at this point I would just be better to start over and just and because to be honest, I wanted to I want to do it in like segmented stuff so I could upload it to YouTube just so I could keep those regularly going as well. Keep, have like just have just have two channels kind of like working working away so it's like you know to keep just to keep myself busier. Cause that's what I really need to be doing. I don't know. I don't know. It's not Choco Mount. It's not Choco Mountain amounts of fog, but imagine being a hawk that can't do a skateboard right now. Yeah, you just literally do it. You do this. You do the skateboard. So yeah, I can understand why the, the final thing is th is only three laps because this is uh, definitely the longest of the tracks I've done so far for this uh, league. It's a nice track. It's it's kind of it's actually kind of, ow, it's actually kind of really cool. It's just uh, yeah, Auckland. Nope, and there's my bot. <laughs> didn't Tony, didn't Tony kind of gave up that whole NFT things? Because I, I feel like, I feel like that kind of did happen. That kind of was given up on. I don't know. I, I, I haven't been taking, I haven't been paying attention. Doing a skateboard only leaves the splinters. Friction burn and a half does a tech decks nine months later. <laughs> I mean, look. If you're gonna get into skateboarding, you gotta you gotta feel the burn. You gotta feel the burn. Oh God. But yeah, I don't know. Like, I didn't really look into. I don't. I didn't look into this whole like thing with NFTs. But I don't really hear. I don't hear much of anything about about it. I feel like with Tony, it was probably more not. It was probably wasn't even his. It was probably less his decision and more just his business partners. I wouldn't be surprised because it doesn't it, it doesn't seem like it was really it was something he really just chose. It was probably more just because his, you know, corp the corporate people who who think for some reason that's what, what what everyone wants, despite the fact that's not what everyone wants. Well, at least now it's uh, at least now we've got some. Uh, Clear skies, and we got this asshole.
I checked, there's nothing about him stopping. In fact, some dumb talk about creating a tire. Oh, Jesus Christ. Can we just, like, let this metaversic fucking die already? Can we just, like, burn all. Burn. Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. Can we just, like, burn all things meta? Metaverse shitiverse. NFTs are okay, so let me try to explain this to you the best way I can, Tom. NFTs is, is this is basically the, a scam where you're, where you're supposed to they're supposed you're supposed to have this virtual virtual image that's supposed to be like in limited quantities that are supposed to be something really like that are supposed to be valuable because there's o supposedly only so many of them when in reality all one person has to do is right click save image they basically want the people to each they basically want to charge money something for something that somebody can just right click save That's why everyone hates them, because it's a fucking, it's a fucking scam. The metaverse stuff is all a scam too, because the person running it is, is, uh, one of the most notorious pieces of shit out there, aka Mark Zuckerberg. Like all this stuff that they're trying to do, like virtual world stuff. I don't mind the idea of virtual worlds and stuff like that's fine. And we've had we've hell there's we've we have VR VR games like VR chat Neos chill out we've got virtual and virtual games have even existed beforehand like even before the VR stuff like you had you had like you know you had stuff like second you had stuff like Second Life even before then so it's not a new thing it's the problem why the whole metaverse thing is scummy is because it's basically just another way to charge people to basically force people to pay up and, and ch lose charge all charge them up the ass with money basically greedy cap gr the greedy capitalist world strikes again and the problem is it's it's not regulated. It's getting to a point where it's so fucking out of control. There is no goddamn regulation with any of this stuff whatsoever. So it's getting to the point where people just think that, oh, pre more, another premium service. Oh, another, another uh, microtransaction. Oh, another loot box. Oh, another this, that. That's like, guys, we're not fucking made of money. But they they want to act. They want to make everything charge so that they they can get all the money from us. It's becoming a like there's a like there is no like there is no middle class anymore. You're either rich or you're poor. There is no middle class anymore. I have also made so many fucking mistakes. Like this car is uh, seeing better days, but it's fine because we're well in the lead. Tom, you can't question it because there are people who just do, who will blindly do it, who will blindly go into it without stopping themselves and saying, hey, wait a second, this is just taking more of my money. A lot of people are just, there's too many people out there who just do it because they're, oh no. I finally have gotten to the point where I've screwed up the, the steering in this car. It honestly feels like it's way more than steering, to be totally honest. Oh my god, I can barely turn left. Oh god, am I even... I might actually be past here. No, you stay back. 
Okay, I'm not even going to attempt trying to bet on someone because, uh, yeah, this car is sad, very sad. No, we're not, I'm not even going to bother. This car needs to be repaired big time. I just made too many mistakes on that one. So how bad is repair going to be? <laughs> 30 grand! 30 grand! Lost money there. Fuck. Oh, uh, boy. Anyways, okay, so that one's done regardless, and thankfully, the next race should be cleaner. It's uh, it's Ve it's around Vegas. F four heat laps and six finals, so it's probably a short track, but we'll see in the next part. Stay tuned. Thank you for watching. Check out my links below. Hope to see you on the next one.